And right now, a big Bay Area company is at the center of a federal investigation. All day, we've been watching agents enter the St. Petersburg-based Universal Healthcare. Well, tonight, we know that Health and Human Services is heading the investigation. They are looking into the actions and business practices of Universal Healthcare. What's still unclear, what they're looking for, but our cameras spotted officers wearing jackets saying computer forensics. James Jackson is live at the scene. And James, what's happening right now? Well, guys, take a look. Right now, officers are bringing out the equipment they use to make copies of everything on Universal's computers. They just took it and put it in that SUV. They'll take it to a Tampa office. They're collecting it for evidence. Now, that's an unusual sight for employees here. You're looking at pictures taken from inside Universal Healthcare today. FBI agents and officers from the Office of the Inspector General searched the facility. So it was just a matter of time. We just didn't expect it, you know, this early in the morning. Griffin Walker, a Medicaid specialist for chemotherapy, was working when authorities came in. They told everyone to uh, remain where they were, and they started escorting people out of the building. Health and Human Services is looking into the actions and business practices of universal health care. Officials have not told us what specifically agents are looking for. Our primary mission is to investigate allegations of health care fraud. The company was being liquidated and 800 employees are losing their jobs, but they were allowed by investigators to attend a job fair here. I didn't know what to think, honestly. Jenny Basil started working for Universal a month ago. She showed up for the job fair, but says she was discouraged by the sight of federal agents. If I had known that the FBI was going to come in or it was in this kind of trouble, I don't think I would have made the trip. As for Griffin Walker, he says the company's misfortune makes him angry. He moved here for the position, which he's had for five months. Well, I really like the job. I like the people that I worked with. I like what, taking care of the members and the patients in and around the St. Pete area and also Florida. If you have questions about your coverage, you can go to our website, abcactionnews.com. Now, coming up at 6, we'll tell you how employees feel if these allegations will affect their job search. Reporting live from St. Petersburg, I'm James Jackson, ABC Action News.